Hey guys, what's up? Mac Attack here. Welcome back to another Mac Hacks. Today I'm going to show you how to use OBS to record your PC gaming content uh, with in-game audio as well as your voice. Um, so first thing, uh, basically before I go into it, uh, with the 10.11.1 OS X update uh, release, El Capitan, uh, the wave tap doesn't work anymore, which I know a lot of people used wave tap to record with OBS. Um, a lot of people now are using Soundflower because there is a way to uh, do it so you can get in-game audio with Soundflower using OBS. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing you want to do, I'm going to leave all the links in the description. You're going to go to this one right here, and you're going to download Soundflower to .ob2.dmg. Uh, you're going to download that. Um, I actually have it right here. You're going to open it up. You're going to double-click the Soundflower package. You're going to install it. You uh, follow all the directions. You're going to, when it asks you where you in, want to install it, you want to install it to your hard drive, your Mac hard drive. So you're going to do that. Uh, then you will have it installed. The next thing you want to do is go to audio MIDI setup. So basically, you can find that in Spotlight. Just type in audio MIDI setup, press enter, it'll open up. I have it in my dock, but that's how you can find it. You're going to create a new multi output device. So the plus sign and create multi output device. You're going to click in built in output and Soundflower 2 channel. Um, I already have it here, so I'm just going to delete this one, but this is what you want. These are the settings you want. Uh, same, keep everything up here the same. You can exit out of that. Then you are going to go to OBS, so I'll bring that back into here. There we go. Uh, you're going to go to settings. You're going to go to audio, and for um, desktop audio device, you want default. So that's what you're going to do there. You're going to press OK. Um, and basically, if you go into System Preferences, and you go to Sound, and you go to the Output tab, and you click on your multi-output device, uh, you'll see that it'll work. Uh, let me get a video or something up. I had a video, yeah. So basically, just I'll play this. And you can see the green bar audio for desktop audio is going. Oh, sorry. So that did work. Um, there is a faster way to get your multi-output device. So if you press Alt or Option, and then click on the sound bar. You can click your multi output device right there. If you click it normally, it just gives you the bar. But if you click option and then you click it, um, you can choose that. You can also choose your microphone. Um, so I'm just using my external mic right now because I don't really have a good mic. But that's how you can choose your microphone too. Um, one other thing I want to talk about is PTH volume. I don't think a lot of people know about this, but it's an app or it's a program for Mac. Uh, this is the link. I'll leave it down below. You're going to just click download. You're going to download it, install, follow the instructions. And basically, it's going to be right here in System Preferences, PTH Volume. You're going to click on it. It's going to say, um, to use the PTH Volume Preferences pane, System Preferences must quit and reopen. Press OK. It'll reopen settings. Uh, it's going to open PTH Volume automatically. And you're going to click Start. I have it going right now. But you're going to click Start. Basically what this does is it puts this little volume icon up here, similar to the one you have here, but this is not the built-in one. If you click on it, you can see everything that you have installed as far as sound goes, and you can turn volumes up. So if you have a headset in, um, if you notice, if you're using your multi-app device, this got grayed out. So I'm pressing, you can't actually turn up and down the volume. But if you use PTH volume, you can adjust your volume in the headphones. So that's how that works. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, uh, comment down below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.